Now, we may have our main building in here, but we still want to add more details to it. For example, maybe you want to add a window or a doorknob to your door using the shape tools. For mine, I'm going to put a dragon on my building. So for that, I need my building to be a bit taller. So I'm going to just click and drag the bottom of the main building here, kind of make that longer. And I'll move the door down to match. Next, I might copy and paste my windows. So I'm going to go ahead and just paste that window in a couple of times. There we go. Now that I have my windows in here, I want to add some more decorations. You can find ideas by looking up other pictures online of weird and strange buildings. Maybe you want to try to make your building look like an animal, or maybe have some animals crawling on it. Or look up clip art of other buildings and see what kind of awnings, windows, bricks, and details that they add. So for mine, I might want to use the paintbrush tool here. Make sure to use a nice color of brush. Then I can go in and start drawing in the details I want. So mine's this kind of dragon idea. So I might kind of go in and draw the back of his tail like he's wrapping around the whole building. And then I'll go in and draw kind of the other side of him. And then I'll draw his head. I can do this piece by piece as long as I make sure each shape is its own thing. Of course, if you ever feel like your shape doesn't come out quite right while you're trying to draw it, you can use your direct select tool to go in and help fix any mistakes by dragging around your anchors. So by following these steps and kind of filling in our colors as we go, we can start adding more details and character to our own buildings.